became inspired by landscape and the natural world, particularly where uh, we get patterns that occur in the natural world, where there are random elements which suddenly come together and form a pattern, a symmetrical pattern. I am inspired by travel. I like to travel with my family to all these wonderful places and I take amazing photos. So I just love every element that you see in the water, all the colors as they relate to the rest of the landscape around. And for me, that's my passion. Uh, my painting shows the weakness and the vulnerability of humankind. Uh, uh, there is also a claim uh, for uh, tolerance, whatever the color of skin and uh, the religion. I am inspired by my inner emotion and human beings. I paint uh, since four years and I'm sure now I will paint for the rest of my life. Uh, my art is an invitation to fuse your dreams in your everyday life. Uh, the most important for me is to connect with my spectators, something that vibra vibrates with their inner magic. Earth as my primary medium to express a non-subjective kind of ideology that has its roots in life and the concept of God. Um, I think my inspiration is all about color and movement. Um, I enjoy abstracting and redefining elements in nature that um, in order to create a, a different vision. I always wanted to give strength to my artwork. I often start my work from an ID or feeling. Then I choose graphics and colors to express. With my film camera, I early started capturing scenes of everyday lives, not especially the unusual ones, but the most unusual ones to share. My painting is a big uh, space, uh, vibrant colors, uh, a big uh, landscape, Colored landscape. My passion in life is painting. I paint all that I see. I enjoy giving expression to emotion and even intimate thoughts. inspiration is play with the colors. I use the colors for make a chaos and then I order this chaos and a new universe exists for me. My work comes from, my work is surreal and blurs between abstraction and uh, representation and they're, they're a uh, kind of like a story-like, uh, dream-like place that I've been. If I ever thought when I was seven years old, painting with my grandmother on her porch in Philadelphia, how she taught me and I realized, wow, I, I love to paint and I haven't stopped. And she, she would be very proud of me as well as my mother uh, who are painters and thank you. I've explored a lot of different uh, visual languages from surrealism back 
to uh, Impressionism and finally worked my way to abstraction. I resisted that for a long time, but then I found out how much fun it was to push color around on a canvas. Uh, I'm inspired by the spiritual world, by uh, angels, by dolphins, by unicorns, and by the sea. I'm very inspired by just the reality that I love to paint. Uh, I, I love what I am able to create when it's good, not so much when it isn't, but I love to paint all the time and I enjoy that as, as part of what I do. What I'm interested in doing in the last 20 years is taking figurative work and combining it into my abstraction. By doing that, I feel that I give a point of reference for people to understand abstraction. I do abstract um, with acryl and oils, and in my new paintings now at the second exhibit, um, I included my um, images of my body. I use my body as um, um, to paint, to produce, um, to make the paintings. My art represents my internal journey. I find that this uh, geographic uncertainty leads me to paint uh, alternative spaces and uh, I'm looking for uh, equilibrium and balance in this changing environment. My challenge is, uh, uh, has always been to express the wonder I feel at certain paintings. This is a fundamental concept in my work presently. My inspiration comes from the unseen part of the human experience, our dream world, that part of ourselves that speaks to us of our divinity, where we come from, where we're going, what our path is in this life.